veterans of the South African War of 40 odd years ago gather in Johannesburg to greet their old comrade, now Field Marshal Smuts, who fought against the British then and is now one of the staunchest supporters of the British Commonwealth of Nations. It was Jan Christian Smuts and his men of the Boer War who gave us the word commando, which has come so much to the fore in the present conflict. They are here for a Unite for Victory parade, a call for even greater war efforts by South Africa. Field Marshal Smuts's victory in the recent elections, when his United Government Party gained such a decisive majority over all others, adds point to his stirring call to arms. You see today what is probably the greatest military display ever staged in South Africa. It's a great recruiting drive. It is a renewed drive for war service and for keying up the spirit and the will of our people to a maximum effort in the pro further prosecution of the war. We know now that we can win, but we also know that the winning may mean the heaviest land fighting of the whole war. No mistake could be worse, could indeed be more fatal than for us and the other allies to sit back or to go easy at this stage under the impression that our job is mostly done and that final victory is near. It is not, and victory will mean greater efforts than we have made so far. It is under these circumstances and with this situation before us that I now today renew my appeal to South Africans not to rest content with the cleaning up of Africa but to follow the tide of war across the Mediterranean to the final and decisive European fronts. Europe calls. Young South Africa, come forward and move on to the battlefronts. Unite for victory. With the veteran commandos of 1899 to 1902 in the van, the great parade begins. Men and women of the Union Army and Home Front units provide an unforgettable spectacle for the vast crowd of a hundred thousand, the biggest ever assembled for a South African event. It is particularly significant of the Union's military progress that the number of men taking part in this parade is greater than that of the entire South African Army at the outbreak of war. The women of the South African Army and the Home Front are well represented in the two miles long procession. All members of the Union's fighting forces are volunteers and out of a population of 570,000 European males between the ages of 20 and 60, 190,000 have volunteered for full-time service. That's one in three of the available population, a simply magnificent record. Some of the guns which helped knock Rommel for six in North Africa add weight to the appeal of Field Marshal Smuts for further efforts by the people of South Africa. A stirring call to all South Africans to unite for victory. Yeah. 